Inspector Tom Nesson at a specific work center recorded a failure during the continuous microbial analysis stage. So we failed uh, some sort of a swab test that occurs. If I want to pull up the record of the actual signed document that was electronically signed by Tom Nesson, I can click that document and you can see we've timestamped electronically the name, the date, the time, a signature, signature note, and where it failed. Now this electronic document is completely compliant with 20, 21 CFR Part 11 and it's stored electronically within the Plex system as a record of this failure. So from this failure, I now can go back and do a little more interrogation work, pull up the traceability tree, and I can see this ingredient was instrumental in the production of not only the one that I sent to Meyer, but it was also involved in the production of another product that maybe went to another customer. So I've got a quarantine issue going on here right now. So if I bring up this final packaging information about this product, I should see if there was, a, if there was another issue that's being pursued by potentially somebody else in the business. So I'm looking at this inventory container. Um, it current, currently looks like it's still within the four walls of the building, but there is a problem control record associated with it now. And it's a contamination issue that we're pursuing related to this lot number. So if I bring up this problem control information, I quickly can see um, the details of what's occurring. So we had a supplier problem from SN Products. Um, the supplier has been assigned. The description um, can be updated. We have a category of a supplier issue. It's in the baked goods plant. It's a defect, a contamination defect. And we can actually upload ish, uh, images of the issue as we track them through the system. So this acts as kind of like my filing cabinet for all